in high school I took a class I want to say like foreign policy or like United Nations something something along those lines and you don't even want to know how that affects Welcome back to Naya's News. This is the channel where I report news about my life while being open, honest, and transparent as much as possible. So for today's video, as you guys can see by today's title, I'm going to be taking you guys with me on another vlog. This time, I'm going to be taking you guys along to a coffee shop called Mon O'More. I've been getting into going to coffee shops lately because of COVID and just... The vibe of coffee shops I've really been enjoying now. So I'm going to take you guys along with me because I'm starting back up with classes. So I always like to give you guys an insight on the classes that I'm taking and just the overview of being in school for my PhD. So this is going to be an exciting vlog. Don't forget to comment down below, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. Hi guys, so well, I made it to the coffee shop. Carla's actually here as well. I'm gonna get some food, the menu and just everything looks really nice. Carla recommended the avocado toast, I'm gonna try that. And then, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a chill vibe. It's not a, really a lot of people here, which I like. So this quarter, I'm going to be taking two classes again. I'm going to be taking a class called Disaster and Crisis Management. And then I'm also going to be taking an advocacy social work policy and practice. I'm looking forward to both classes because I've read and looked over the syllabus and just like the topics that we're going to be doing. And it seems interesting. For those of you who do know, last quarter was a trying one. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to a fresh start and just to dive right into the subjects and different things like that and just see how this course goes because i'm looking forward to the courses i'll give you guys an overview of what we'll be doing and just showing you guys the different things that i'll be working on for this quarter this quarter starts april 12th which is tomorrow and then it ends i want to say like june 18th or something like that so each quarter for me is 10 weeks and, and then it's three weeks between each quarter so this is like me keeping going with my doctorate so i'm looking forward to it i'm excited about this course and then also i'm excited because my birth now i'm rambling i'm also excited because my birthday is this month so you know can't wait for that either so yeah i'll catch you guys i ordered a hot chocolate and then i ordered a croissant with turkey and cheddar the pitcher it looks fire i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it all comes So this class, guys, is the disaster crisis and management class that I had mentioned. And it looks really good so far. This is like an overview of unit one, which I'm looking for.
so guys, one of the assignments, I was just venting the Carla about this. So one of the assignments that I have to do, I have to write about a natural disaster that affected me. And a natural disaster or a man-made. I was literally sitting here for the past 10 minutes trying to figure out one specific natural disaster that I wanted to talk about. Literally on Google, researching, and I found it. Point is, I was literally stressed for like, the past 10 minutes, but life is all together again. I got my shit together. <laughs> I got my <laughs> stuff together. Oh, I forgot. You so, like that's why I'm just like, I'm, I'm, my head is on straight now. Before, I was just like, come on, but I'm together. I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that. <laughs> discussion post for one of my classes now I have to do my discussion post for my advanced social work policy class here's the thing I'm about to rant for a little bit but I want to share this policy and like government like legislation kind of stuff I've never been really interested in which is probably the reason why I didn't like my professor in my other, like my previous quarter in one of the classes that I took. But I'm gonna go in here with an open mind. I'm gonna go in here real positive. But that's just always been like, like um, in high school I took a class, I wanna say like foreign policy or like United Nations something, something along those lines. And, you don't even want to know how I passed that class. I passed that class with the skin beneath my teeth. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure if that's the phrase. Um, uh, passed the class with flying colors. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. So I'm hoping that this class is not like my other ones. So yeah, that's my little rant. I'm about to get started on that. I'll give you guys an overview of like the assignment that I have to do. For this week and yeah i just wanted to rant and tell you guys how i'm feeling about this class <laughs> this is actually one of the assignments that i have to do for this week i actually have two assignments funny thing is i did not know mac you can do like a dual screen realized that a couple of months ago after carla showed me so this is one of the assignments i'm gonna get a start a head start on this so i have less to do this week so yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm about to wrap up in a bit. I still have some work to do, but I got majority of the work that I wanted to get done here. So I'm gonna take a break for a little bit and get back to it either when I get home or this afternoon. But I just wanted to check in and just let you guys know that I've got majority of the work done. So I'm gonna just take a break. I'm waiting for my ride to get here. It should be here in a little bit, so I'm just gonna wrap up and get ready to go. I'll check in with you guys when I get back home. Hi 
hi guys i'm back home i wanted to hop on here to just check in to let you guys know that i made it home safely i'm going to relax for the rest of the evening put a movie on eat some popcorn netflix and chill by myself so i just wanted to just thank you guys for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed it but you know before i go you know i have to give a shout out a shout out a shout out a sh a sh a shout out do, do, do. Okay, this week's shout out goes to Stacy Catron. I really hope I pronounced your name right correctly, sis. Thank you for the constant love and support. And if you would like a shout out in one of my future videos, comment down below, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>